<laughs> Hi, this is the Fiery Joker, and I'm commonly asked about some of the effects that I use in a lot of my videos, like how I do them. So, I figured I'd give you guys a tutorial. Alright, I'm going to give you a tutorial now for one of the more common effects that I use in my videos, which is flaming text. Uh, this is very popular amongst countdown makers. And so I'm going to use it, I'm going to teach you guys how to use it with uh, Magix MX Pro. This pretty much works with any uh, Ma Magix video editing product, but the one I'm using now, it's a um, Magix, Mo Magix Movie Pro 5, I'm, I'm not sure, what is it called? Uh, Video Pro X5, <laughs> yeah. Yeah, some expert I am, I don't even know the product, and I don't even know the name of the product I'm using. <laughs> Anyways, um... What we're going to do is we're going to get a background. So I'm just going to grab this uh, static here because I really don't, it really doesn't matter what your background is for this. All right, and I'm uh, going to get rid of the noise because that's going to get annoying real fast. Bel believe me, this isn't the first time I tried doing this. Uh, all right, so we, got, so we got our background. We, lovely static. All right, then we're going to get some text. So you click on titles right here go down to standard because I'm just giving you the bare bones you can do whatever you want with this later alright and we're gonna get our default so uh, what I'm gonna call this is darn it I did that again alpha text effect because that's really what this uh, whole thing is called it's called an alpha text effect well it's not really called that I just like to call it that because it sounds official Alright, so I'm going to increase the size, you'll see why in a second. It just, it just makes the effect look a little more effecty. Alright, so we got, our we got our basic text and our basic background, okay? Nothing, nothing too fancy, but now we want to get what we want. Now we're going to get a picture inside the text. We're going to get the flames inside the text. So I'm going to get my flame effect. Well, not really flame effect, it's more flame footage, and I'm going to disconnect them and get rid of the audio. I'm gonna crop that. I'm gonna divide that. All right, so because of a, because of layering, if you play, if you use Adobe Photoshop a lot, you'll know you'll know why this you know why this is doing this because because of the whole layers thing it's that uh, this thing is this thing is completely covering up the the text and, and background so what what are we gonna do about that well here's what we're gonna do now follow me because some of you might get confused click on title go up to effects go to video effects click chroma key and I was already on there because I was testing this earlier and uh, you'll see a lot. Of, you'll see a lot of different options here, but the one I want to focus on today is alpha. So watch as the magic happens when I click this. Oh! Oh my gosh! There are flames inside the text. Oh my gosh! So yeah, that's a, That's pretty much how, how I make flaming text. Now some people, I notice that some people do like borders, and we'll get to that later, but. So yeah, this is how this is how you make it. This is how you make flaming text. You can uh, adjust. You can adjust it a little bit. You can adjust the threshold of the of the text. You can adjust the threshold of the video, and you can uh, you can even make it a little bit transparent. So yeah, a lot of options with this. And you want to see something really cool? You see this little arrow right here? This little arrow shows what is going to be in the text. What, what's going to be in the text? So this arrow is currently pointing down to this thing, so it's showing that the flame is going to be in the text. But if I click this arrow, oh, oh my gosh, oh my gosh, there's there's freaking static text with the flaming background. That's so freaking cool. Yeah, I don't, I don't know why I'm spazzing out there. Uh, so yeah, that's pre that's pretty much it. However, we we can also do some pretty we can also do some pretty cool things. Um, well. Yeah, we can f fool around with the uh, alpha text a bit more. So if I do this, text effect two, 
Control C, Control V, because I'm lazy. Control C, Control V. And let's see, I kind of want to increase the size of that a bit more. And uh, get this over here so I'm not distracted. And uh, get that perfect, because I'm OCD like that. Anyways, we're having the same problem. So, Alpha doesn't just work on text. It can also work on it can also work on video files. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to do the same thing what I did to the text. I'm going to go, go to Effects, Video Effects, Chroma Key, and click Alpha, and watch the magic happen. <gasps> oh my gosh! Oh my gosh! What's it doing? Yeah, there's a lot of weird. This alpha key is uh, this alpha key is very very interesting because you can do a lot of very interesting things with it. It's just really fun. It's really fun to fool around with. So yeah, just click just click the arrow a couple times, and also switching the order around can also make things very interesting depending on the lit. Switching the order of the layers. So if I do this, move this up. I'm hmm, can't really see it that well. I'm gonna increase the size a bit. Let's try 50. Whoa, that's that's big. That's very big. All right, so check this out. Pretty sweet, eh? So you got like a little like a smoky text effect here going on here. Or if we switch it around, makes that makes it a little bit clearer. So ba so if you ever want to do if you ever want to do an alpha text effect, you can always you can just mess around with it a little bit. It um. It's like you'll probably you'll probably figure out something cool to do. And it's like, it's not it's not limited to just this. You can it's and it's not limited to just flame effects. You can um you can put you can put anything inside text. It, it, it uh, you can uh let's see. Let's try um let's try putting my intro let's try try putting my intro in one of them. It's a force of habit to get rid of the. It's a force of habit to get rid of the. Get rid of the audio. So. Yeah. You can put you can put anything in there. So my intro is now in the now in the alpha text effect. So yeah. So this is a very interesting a, a very interesting effect to work with. Just fool around with it, and uh, if you guys like this tutorial, if you guys have any comments or criticism. Prefer preferably both. Uh, let me know in the comments. See you later. Cut.